Christ in there. And so we got to be unified. We have to be on one mind, one accord. All this silly stuff, we need to get rid of that stuff. Because it's a hindrance. It hinders the gospel. It hinders us. It hinders our growth. And so and we have to get away from that foolishness. It is. It's foolishness. And, and that's what it is. And so we wonder why, you know, we hear about these stories of people getting healed. And why ain't it happening with us? It's still happening. It's us. I believe. I just believe. I believe this. I believe this, that it's going to happen in here. I believe the operating spirit is going to come here and something's going to happen one day. I believe this with all my heart because I see the worship. And what's going to happen one day, we're going to get past that place. And God's going to come in here. And he's going to do something miraculous. He's already doing miraculous by healing people. But I'm talking about something else. He's going to come in here and do a miracle in here that we'll be talking about for years. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. The only hindrance is us. We just got to get past that silliness. Past that, oh, oh. Uh, I love her, but I don't like her stuff. I love him, but I don't like him. We got to get past that stuff. Because that's why the scripture in, the, in 1 Corinthians 13 talks about if you don't have love, all that other stuff don't mean nothing. It's a hindrance. It's a hindrance. Thank you, Jesus. And they continue daily one, one accord in the temple. And that's the other thing. You got to be in a place of worship, which is the temple. And breaking of bread from house to house, yes. did eat their meat with gladness. And again, singleness of heart. It's singleness of heart. Yes. The Bible talks about taking that stony heart yes, yes, yes. and giving us a heart of flesh. Yes. You understand that? When they talk about heart of flesh, a heart of flesh is a heart of compassion. Yes. Amen. See, when you have a stony heart, yes. You, you, get, you don't care about nobody. Yes. You don't care about nothing. But God comes in and gives you. When you get the Holy Ghost, you're supposed to get a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. And you get this heart of flesh, and you care about people. Yes. And notice it says here, they were going from house to house. Yes. This is one thing we all need to start doing. We need to start going to house yes. to house yes. and encouraging yes. these yes. brothers and these sisters. The pastor said it too. Yes. You know, yes. that be struggling because they be struggling. And I, the reason they struggle, they don't come like they should. Hey Amen? But we need to go there and grab them and talk to them. Not, not trying to beat them over the head, but encouraging them. Because as long as they stay at home, as long as they stay in their house, they don't come to church, the enemy is going to abuse them. That's what he's going to do. Because he's, they're not in a place of fellowship. They're not in a place of singleness of heart. They're not in, in the temple or the house of God. And that's what happens. That's how the enemy gets you. And it's funny. It's funny how the enemy does. Because what he does, he, he, he uses one little, little bitty thing and gets you sidetracked. And you get sidetracked on that little bitty thing. Amen. We sometimes just need a good old-fashioned praying through. We just need to pray through and move on. Because, see... God wants you to be saved. Yes. We got all these different backgrounds in here. Everybody got a story. Everybody's got a testimony. And so God wants, sometimes you just need to pray through, get over it, move on. Well, I feel this guy. Well, you need to pray for your feelings and get over it. God, help me with my feelings. Pray, I, God, give me a victory over my feelings. Because your feelings are going to get hurt. Because anytime you're dealing with people, people are going to hurt your feelings. That's just what we do. Yes. We don't mean to hurt your feelings. We just do it. You know, some people do, but church folk don't mean it. Sometimes we just get caught up in our own thing because we all got problems. We all got situations. So what happens, we get caught up in our problem and situation, and then when you come in with yours, we not sensitive. Just go again, the gifts of the spirit. We not sensitive, and then so what happens is we say the wrong thing. We should be able to feel. Yes. We should be able to feel when that brother or sister going through something. Yes. We should be able to do that. Yes. Why? Because the Bible says so. That's right. We supposed to operate like that. Yes. We supposed to operate in such a way yes. that we be able yes. to touch somebody. Yes. Yes. We should be able to operate like that. But the big thing is we just need to stay prayerful. I'm talking to myself. I need to pray more. Amen. We, we all need to pray more. Amen. We just do. And because when you pray and you pray fervently, yes. and you pray on fire, I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about God will move, but we have to be on fire in prayer. Yes. That's what it has, it has to happen. Because these people want to fire and pray. Yes. That's what it says. 
saying here. Yes. They were in one place, one accord. They were in the temple. They were going to the temple. They yes. were they were praying. Yes, yes, yes. And what was happening, God moved. Move. They ain't no better than us. They, they flesh and blood, just yes. like us. Yes. But they God moved because they were in prayer. That's right. We got to get have a desire for that. And we have to have a desire more than anything in the world. And, and, not, and see, we're in America, and we get all caught up in material things and stuff. It's nothing wrong with that. But really, God ain't about that. No. He really don't care about your material possession. No. You know what God care about? He care about people. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 God yes. care about people. Yes. That's what God care about. And he want yes. us to be about people. Yes. We have to be about people. Yes. We have to go. Look, yes. and I'm trying to get ahead of my snap. Just think in the third, the third chapter, the first verse. Notice, go, go there real quick. I'm getting ahead of myself. Go to the third chapter, the first verse. Notice something here. Notice what's going on here. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of what? Prayer. Prayer. Being the ninth hour, and a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate beautiful, which was called, the gate called beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered unto the temple, who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him, and John said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, yes. expecting to receive something of them. Yes. Then Peter said, Silver and gold yes. have I none, yes. but yes. such as I have, yes. give I to thee. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Glory. And he took him by the right hand yes. and lifted him up. Yes. And immediately yes. his feet and his ankle bones received strength. And he leaped, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them in the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Glory. Hey, look, that's how it's supposed to be with Glory. us. Hey, Amen. We're supposed Glory. to be so sensitive yes. that we're supposed to be able to feel that infirmity. Yes. We're supposed to be able to do that. Yes. Amen. That's how it's supposed to be with us. And, 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 but notice what was going on. They were going to the yes. temple. They were in prayer. Yes. It's all about people. You have to be involved. If yes. you're not involved, it's not going to happen. Yes. If you think you're going to just walk down the street, yes. I'm going to just sit in my car. Yes. It ain't happening. You got to get out there and get with the people. Yes. Right. Amen. Now, I know the Bible says be unequally yoked with unbelief. That's talking about when you're sitting around and you Drinking with them and all that crazy stuff. You can't be doing that. But what you do is when you have an opportunity right. to talk to somebody, yes. pay close attention to what they're saying. Yeah. Play close attention. God will give you insight. Yeah. Listen to what they're saying. Yes. Yes. Listen to what they're saying. Yes. And what God will do, he'll give you insight. I was talking to this young lady a while back, and, and uh, what happened was as I was talking to her, God gave me insight. And I was able to talk to her and I was able to minister to her. Come to find out she was a backslider. God told me she was a backslider. And what happened was, I, I just, and I don't know how it happened. I don't know what came over me. But I was talking to her and all of a sudden I said, you know, your mama been praying for you. I didn't know her mama. And that lady's face went, woof. You know my mama? I said, no. Your mama been praying for you and she wants you to get back in church. You've been, you been away from God. How you know all that? God had gave me insight. He gave me insight to that young lady. And I'm not a big, oh, ooh, spiritual guru or anything like that. It just happened. Yeah. I was in a place of prayer. And at that time, I was coming back from church. I had been outreaching the people, talking to people. And all of a sudden, she came across me. And she came across me twice in that day. She walked past me once earlier today. She looked at me, and I looked at her. And then she walked by me again. And I just got to go, go to her. And I went to her. Yes. And we got to talking. Yeah, God will give you that. He will give you that. Let me say something else about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, this the other, it has a drawing power. And we get that confused sometimes. It has a drawing power. What it does, it draws people to you. And see, guys, we have to be careful. Because what happens is, we go to a place. And what happens, some woman will be drawn to her. It's not you. It's the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And, and that's how, and that's with everybody. The Holy Ghost has a, a drawing power. Yeah. Draw, that's why they went out there. Jesus was way out in the woods, all out yes. there. People would come looking for him. Yes. They had a drawing power. Yes. Remember, again, it said, what happened? They, they were being added to the church daily. Why? They were being drawn by 